Hey everyone, Ron here with your October Homes and Happenings. First off, in the economy, things are looking strong for real estate. Economy is doing very well, uh, still growing, unemployment low, inflation coming down, interest rates coming down. All these spell good things for real estate. Higher prices, faster turnaround times. Uh, it's a robust real estate market right now, so all good there. Uh, first question we get a lot lately, uh, the past month, is should I refinance my current mortgage? Generally speaking, if you plan on staying in your home three years or longer and you have a 6.5% interest rate, now might be the time to talk to our lending team about if refinancing makes sense for you and, uh, and what way to do it. Okay, There's a few different ways to do refinances and a, and, and a few different results to obtain from refinancing. So speaking to a lender really is the uh, first step and we can hook you up with a good one. Okay, Now, Deb put together a great list uh, of top five happenings this month. It's October, so there's a lot of fun outside things to do. She put a list together of the top 10 corn mazes in the area to spend a fun family day. Um, she highlights the Topsfield Fair, which is always a great New England tradition, although getting a bit pricey, I think, to go to the Topsfield Fair, but it's still fun, a lot of history there. Check it out, could be fun. Uh, the head of, head of the Charles Regatta is happening in Cambridge as well. A lot of history there. And my favorite, the fifth annual Haverhill Hilly Hunt, uh, sponsored by the Haverhill Exchange Club in support of their child abuse prevention efforts and programs. So that's a fun, like a scavenger hunt through the whole city. You put a team together, you drive your car around. It's app-based, so it's, and there's a big after party after. So something fun there to do uh, near the end of October. Um, client Spotlight, super proud of this, this woman, Kim McCabe. She's our client and good friend, and she's written and finally launched her first book. It's called Finding Your Voice, and it's a story of Samantha, who is being bullied, unfortunately, in school and how she overcomes that uh, to make school better for her. And, you know, I think Kim is speaking from a personal uh, experience here, and that's why uh, it shines through in her writing. She had her first book shining uh, this week, actually, as recording this video in Andover, and that went fantastic. And they're very excited, and I'm happy to share it with you. So please buy this book, support Kim. If you have young kids, it's a great book to read to them to help them find their voices at a young age so they can hopefully um, you know, avoid bullying situations. And remember, October is National Bully Awareness and Prevention Month as well. So this will be a good way to have that conversation with your kids. Check it out. There's links in the emails as well. Congratulations, Kim, and have a great October.